to the first video series on how to get a finger infection in science. Today, you are going to attempt to place this mat match head on a pin. You have two choices, a dissecting probe or a dissecting pin. Either can be used. If you use a dissecting pin, you will want to use a wet piece of paper towel so you can hold it safely when you're using the flame. I would generally avoid trying to use tongs to hold these dissecting pins because the tongs will drop them. So you can use this or you can use the dissecting tool. Now this one, someone attempted to put a match on it uh, using the technique that I call DIE! 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 And it's simply not necessary because the match heads are relatively soft. So I will straighten out this dissecting pin and caution the males in the classroom to not stab the match head to death. Now, how do we get a finger infection? I, as you can no doubt tell, I'm a master at injuring my fingers. Have you ever wondered where I got all these scars? Okay, so I'm going to show you the proper way to get a raging finger infection. First of all, you get these unwashed, pointy, stabby things from your teacher and you get told to put the match head on the pin. So to get the finger infection properly started, you will take this match here, oops, trying to get away, and you're going to take the needle and you're going to put it right against the match head and push with all your might to get that needle through the match head. And you will find quite quickly you have created the proper environment deep inside your finger to get a finger infection. Now, there might be one or two students in this class that don't particularly want a finger infection. So if you're uninterested in the finger infection, I have a different technique to successfully get the match on the pinhead. Though for the life of me, I can't see why you might not want a finger infection. So I'll show you the next step. Okay, this thing here in the classroom is called a bulletin board. It's quite soft. So if you take the match head here and you hold it against the bulletin board, you can take the needle, put it into the match head, and push. And it will go through. Or, look, it's trying to escape again. So once again, I'm going to take this match head here. I'm going to hold it there. And I'm going to try to impale it. And there's... Ah! Look at that. I, I harpooned me a big one. And there it is. Match head on a stick for people that don't want a finger infection. Okay? One of the final things you want to be able to do here is for a successful clean kill on this match head. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Oh, she's being uncooperative. It won't focus. Come on, focus for me. Focus. It's a bit better. What's going on? I'm sinking. Oh, rare. When you look at the match head, try not to stab right through the red chemical. Try to stab through the paper at the other end here. The exact opposite of what I did. You can see I drove the needle right through the red head of the match not the gray piece of paper. Sometimes if you drive the needle through the match head itself, the red chemical flakes off and you don't have a match. But anyway, there's the two techniques of stabbing a match head onto a needle. One way if you want a finger infection, the other way if you don't want a finger infection. The third way is simply to Place the match head on the table, like so. Take the needle, and you go, die, 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 and you try to get it. And I think you'll generally find that is the poorest of the techniques to use. So anyway, this is how you can mount your match head to the needle for a finger infection or not. I would strongly suggest to choose the method that does not lead to a finger infection.